Today we're going to be installing a short shifter to the RX-7. Now the car currently does have one installed, but the shifter bushing has perished and with no luck in sourcing a replacement, we've decided to just replace the old shifter with this billet unit we sourced from CubeSpeed. In terms of what the kit comes with, you get the shifter and some replacement bolts with washers. Despite being listed as compatible for only a Series 6, we found it worked perfectly on our Series 8. Link in the description if you want to have a look yourself. It's fairly simple. All you're doing is pull off your shift knob, which I've just stuck in there. Um, this panel, so I understand some cars there can be a screw under your ashtray, so maybe we're taking that out and checking. Other than that, there's just these clips around the side, five clips. Um, they are based just on tension, so I just used some interior trim tools, just slowly levered it out. Be careful, it is old, cheap Japanese plastic. If you are rough on it, it will crack and you have to start again. Under here, there's a few plugs that you unplug. Mine has an alarm light poorly wired in from many years ago, so that can't be disconnected. Most shouldn't have that, but I can just get that out of the way. Then we can start taking off the gaskets, which in most cars are broken and destroyed, and I'm frankly surprised this one isn't, but it works for me. While he's unscrewing those, check out this little speedo. Doesn't it look great? We keep getting bullied. People Not saying that this is a yeah, this is a Ferrari that we're trying to copy scooterias. My car is yellow. Leave me alone. Rev limiter gauges are cool. Mm. It's a reasonably good nick. It will get replaced anyway. Oh, yeah, so, did the kit come with a replacement? No, I bought one. Oh, Last okay. time I bought a new little panel of weed. Um, Looks like drugs. It does look like drugs. It's a bag of drugs. When uh, the guy at Mazda sent us the photo, he was like, I got your bag of suspicious substances. <laughs> um, so it's quite interesting because a lot of people don't seem to realize that you can still buy a lot of stuff for the RX-7, the FD series anyway. So if you are looking for new parts, definitely contact your local Mazda dealership and see if you can actually get them brand new. Easy. <laughs> Someone uh, did those pretty well. If you can't get it loose, use don't a, hit my car with a crowbar. Use a crowbar. Hit John's car with a crowbar. Don't do that. Oh, I hope it doesn't break anything. Mm. <laughs> hey, you got it. To get it straight out. Oh, that was way more complicated than I expected it to be. Although I have seen people who have bent this section of the tunnel out of this while they to if you get those I didn't expect it to be particularly hard but there you go. That looked promising. Nope. Hey Persuasion. And there we go. Can I and that's the inside of the gearbox. And it smells brilliant. And there is no bushing on there at all. Oh wow the bushing's gone. So that'll be why it's play. Yep. Does that mean we have to try and fish out? Oh look, there it is too. Yeah, There's the broken out. bushing in there. I'm not going to touch it. No. And it's just chilling in there. But this is the new unit. That's quite nice. It's a billet, is it? Yeah. Okay. Gorgeous. Cube speed out of Australia. Cube speed. Out of Australia. Shift year. While you're doing that, I'm going to just remove. I don't think we need that anymore. So this is chomp. Positioner. There we go. You got it? Yep. Your hands still clean? Yep. Easy. No, this last one. I reckon tighten all these three down first. Right. And then do the last one because you're going to have to lever to move and you don't want to shift mm. the gasket, you know? Yeah. That has, I assume, a 0% chance of going in. Not uh, too terrible. But... We probably should have put it in and then slid this on. <laughs> So not quite FT, just T. Yeah. That's really cool. Can I drive change that. What are you doing to me? Cool. Done. There we go. We have a. You can put it in gear. But... Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Cool. 
for some new more bits. So it's uh, a brand new bushing? Uh, brand new seal. Oh, sorry, yes. And where's my drugs panel? Your drugs panel? My drugs panel. Your drugs panel. Oh! My drugs panel. Drugs panel. South Auckland Mazda, where you get the best drugs. This is the uh, very legit method of setting your shift boot height. When your shift boot is nine. Just uh, get yourself a nice little cable tie. Let's see how we go, I suppose. Let me get our panel. Oh, there, this is why you guys should subscribe to us because even when it's a simple job, we still don't 100% know what we're doing. This cable here is it supposed to loop around somewhere, or? Uh, it probably just needs to go under the under the weed. Yeah, under the weed panel. Under the weed panel. Oh no. The cable tie is too small. No! Yeah. Okay, we can sort that afterwards. Let me put our mask in this back on. If any of you have questions in regard to this install or just general advice or tips for future videos, please do let me know in the comment section. I am definitely very active on those, so you'll hear back from me easily. The RX-7 will be a more frequent staple on the channel, especially as the MR2 and NSR draw to an end, along with some other goodies that I really can't wait to post for you all. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys next week.